video is brought to you by Keeps. Stay until the end of the video to see what they have to offer. I am Mighty Key. And so there I was, minding my own black ass business, playing some multiverses. Why would they put Tasmanian Devil in this game? It's just incoherent Meta Knight. <laughs> when all of a sudden, <laughs> huh? Now, I don't like being that YouTuber that compares every open world game to Breath of the Wild, but... Breath of the Wild? But with Sonic? That's gonna be my thumbnail when the game drops, and it's gonna get a million views. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of just me minding my own black-ass business. Until I can't. So many amazing things are about to happen this summer. What's amazing? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Video games, obviously. Well, you think we're going outside to talk to women? Gross. See my wall of anime stuff now? <laughs> I'm a real YouTuber. You're not a real YouTuber until you get this type of stuff hanging in the background. Anyways, let's get into the show. Just today, right? For all my Sonic fans, y'all are getting a W this year. That's crazy. The Sonic movie came out. It's doing numbers. No one even remembers any of the other movies that came out around that time, specifically Morbius, specifically Garbage. And you're also getting Sonic Frontiers, which actually, for some reason, looks amazing. I'm sitting through this trailer and I'm generally like, what is going on? This actually looks fun. The thing is, I don't know how developed this is because it still kind of looks like someone's kind of theory crafting about a Sonic open world, right? You got the rails kind of just out in space. You know, they're not really connected to anything. I don't know if that's just a thing in Sonic games now. Um, you got like these weird uh, ambiguous creatures or robot things, um, which are cool, but like, I don't know, they don't really mesh with any of the themes in the world. So I don't know how that's gonna work. Everything kind of just looks like it's in random places at times um, with no like cohesion. But I have no idea if that's just what's cool with Sonic nowadays. Um, who knows? I don't know, this might be part of the lore. I don't know, but I'll say one thing, I'm interested, it looks pretty sick. You guys fans of the Witcher series? <laughs> don't answer that. The answer is yes, I already know. It better be. The people behind CD Projekt Red have told us that uh, the Witcher 4 is finished with its research phase and it's gonna start doing pre-production. I believe that's the terminology they use. Got all of their facts straight and they, 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 they came and was like, what does this do? The monsters, the lore, the all that. They got the research part of the game done and now they're gonna focus on like the art and the design and all that, right? And then apparently there's 100 people uh, that, is, that is going to be on this task to complete this game. Um, now, of course, y'all know The Witcher 3 is hum humongous. Humongous. All right, so I'm assuming The Witcher 4 is gonna be even more humongous. So we're not seeing this game for another five, six years probably, but it's kind of cool to know that it's coming out. And now it gives me time to finally beat uh, the two humongous expansions of The Witcher 3. Also, Geralt is not going to be the main protagonist. I don't know who is. There is just rumors going around. There's rumors that it's gonna be Siri. There's rumors it's gonna be just a completely different Witcher. Uh, there's rumors that you can create your own Witcher this time. So that's gonna be crazy because all three options are cool with me. CD Projekt Red is, you know, making some Witcher stuff. Oh, what about other CD Projekt Red projects? Cyberpunk. Guys is not dead. No, these guys are, they're still working on it, right? They are still working on it. They have recently stated that they're gonna be doing not one, but multiple expansions. I don't know how many, but they did say it's going to be more than one. And one of them was actually supposed to drop this year, but it got delayed. And so it's gonna be dropping 2023. And they have stated that they're going to be uh, uh, starting like the marketing campaign of that expansion near the end of this year. I don't know how that's gonna go over because the original game is not fixed. I don't wanna sound like a hypocrite because I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed Cyberpunk for what it was, um, but I can understand and, and I do believe it's valid for the criticism that it got. The valid criticism, not the, not the stupid stuff that people like to cherry pick off of. The valid criticism, like the cut content and the glitches and the secrecy of the not showing you know gameplay footage of old gens all that is valid all of that is valid people had a right to be upset they have not fixed it yet like they've been throwing patches in and out but the game still isn't like you know complete but here's one thing that possibly could happen with the expansions which i'm assuming are free from what i've heard uh they're also 
going to just release the big like definitive update of cyberpunk right like that's the cyberpunk we were supposed to get in 2020 or i believe when, whenever this came out right so next year is when they will, they'll have all the updates needed to make this game final and it'll come with an expansion and i feel like that's the only thing that will really bring people back in because if you just say there's an expansion for cyberpunk people are not going to care the game needs to be fixed in its entirety and the free expansion should come with it what about video game that are getting turned into TV series or movies. Well, there's one, the Halo series that came out. It's now out. Um, I haven't really looked too much into it. A lot of people are saying it's garbage, doo-doo, trash cakes. A lot of people are like, sick, cool, Halo. Um, I heard, spoiler alert, don't watch the next 10 seconds of this video or skip it. I heard that Master Chief takes off his helmet like one or two episodes into the series. And I already deemed that a failure. So I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not trying to discourage you from watching it because you might like it or enjoy it. I, however, am gonna go throw stuff at Microsoft. Finally, Ha, God of War is in pre-production to have their own series on Amazon, which is crazy. I feel like that could definitely work, right? It's just Greek mythology or well now Norse, North, Norse, Norse mythology. Caucasians. Also Last of Us, but you already knew that. That's coming to HBO. Um, they're actually almost ready to go from what I heard. And uh, that seems cool because uh, Pedro Pascal, who's gonna be playing as Joel, uh, he's a good actor. I like him a lot. I liked him in God of Game of Thrones. I liked him in Mandalorian. You know, the show where he doesn't take off the helmet in episode two. So we just got done talking about video games and then video games becoming movies, but what about movies becoming video games? Star Wars The Last Jedi is not what I meant to say. Star Wars Jedi Survivor, because it's the sequel, the Star Wars Fallen Order. We saw uh, a, a few, few clips, uh, like a little teaser of it a few days ago, and it looked interesting. Um, I don't know who that person is in the back to tank, I'm not too sure. I don't remember anything alluding to that from the first game, um, but this is clearly a direct sequel from the first game. And I think it's gonna be awesome because the first game was awesome. And I was surprised because EA doesn't make good stuff anymore. They just don't. I don't know why, but they just don't. Before Fallen Order, if you told me that um, a product from EA would come out, a single player Star Wars game with no microtransactions, good combat, good fun story, I would say you're actually just insane. I did get confirmation that this sequel takes place five years after the first one, uh, and there is no confirmation on the date yet, um, but I've heard word of mouth that it could be around the first quarter of 2023. Who knows? Summer Games Fest is gonna be a good indication about the future of gaming for this year, next year, and the year afterwards. Summer is gonna be great. There's gonna be a lot of RPGs for my Xenoblade Chronicle fans. I know you guys are mm, waiting for three to come out at the end of July. Uh, that was a gift because it was supposed to come out in like September, I think, and it's coming out two months earlier, which is awesome. Uh, Forspoken, I believe it's coming out in August or close to it. Uh, there's another one called, uh, from the, the Persona fans, what are y'all getting? What are y'all getting? Something Soul Seekers, something, I'll put it on the screen, but it looks awesome. I love me some uh, turn-based JRPG combat. And uh, if you give me some little anime flair, you know, that really that really tickles my fancy. And I like that, that's cool. So I'm gonna be on that as well. But you guys let me know what you're looking forward to this year or this summer, or what your what announcements you're looking forward to on, on the Summer Games Fest on June 9th. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. And again, let me know what you guys are looking forward to in the big Summer Games Fest. That's not E3, that's coming up June 9th, I believe. So just like a week away or so, a week and a half away. Uh, yeah, we'll be able to see our presence see what games are coming out, and uh, I'll see you then. Well, I'll see you before then, but I'll also see you then. I would like to thank today's sponsor, Keeps. We've worked with Keeps a few times, guys. They're great people with a great product. People who are trying to keep hair on your head. But for those who don't know, what is Keeps? It's an online subscription service that's tailored to keeping hair on your head. They are doctor-recommended hair loss treatments designed to prevent you from losing hair. Now, what do you get with this subscription service? You get 24-7 online support. You get to talk with one of their doctors 
any time of the day if you have questions or concerns about your hair loss. Proven results. Customers will start noticing results within six months of the first treatment. Unfortunately, two out of three guys are gonna experience some kind of hair loss by age 35. That's a crazy stat. But Keeps has you covered. It's not just hair loss. If you wanna grow hair to just, I don't know, have an abundance of hair, Keeps got you covered there too. It stimulates hair growth, as well as keeps what you already have looking nicer. They also have shampoo and conditioner to help everything looking nice and beautiful. Our gas prices going crazy? Who, who wants to leave the house? You don't have to. Keeps will actually send the package directly and discreetly to your door. So what are you waiting for? Hair loss stops with Keeps. So go to the link in my description or type in Keeps dot com slash k-e-e-f to get 50% off your first order. That's half off. Good lord. Again, that's keeps.com slash keef for 50% off your first order.